Nature of Research. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I am going to report the nature of research. And today, we are going to discuss uh, what is a uh, research and what is a uh, business research. Then, the types and the methods of research and why is business research important. And lastly, a brief uh, overview of the business, business process. So, why do we conduct research? mainly because we want to know things. We want to increase our knowledge and obtain uh, additional information of a certain topic. There are many ways to increase our knowledge and obtain information. We can ask for the opinion of others or consult an expert. We could read books or search online. Now let us discuss some of these uh, ways to increase our knowledge. First is through our sensory experience. We obtain information through our five senses, our sense of sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Our senses is the immediate way of knowing things. We know things we see, we hear, we smell, we taste, and touch. But sometimes we cannot uh, rely solely on our senses to come up with the reliable information. Sometimes our senses could be wrong or lead to a uh, misinformation. Let's say, for example, we heard yelling from uh, our neighbor's house. We could say that uh, they are quarreling or having a fight based on what we heard. But upon checking, we have learned that uh, they were just uh, watching a movie or a TV series. So we cannot conclude simply on what we hear or see. So to obtain a re reliable information, we must also check the information obtained with other sources. So what are these other sources? One of the sources is uh, asking for the opinion of others. We can check the accuracy of what we see or hear with, uh, with others. Let us say uh, you are in a mall with a friend or a colleague, then you saw someone familiar from afar. You ask your friend, is that our professor in business research? Then your friend confirmed it. So you come up into an agreement that that person in fr front of you is indeed your professor in business research. But this could also be wrong. So we, this could also be wrong. So upon approaching that person, uh, you thought you knew, you realize that it was not your professor in business research, but someone you both don't know. Hence, we need, we need to check and look for another way to obtain uh, reliable information. Uh, we could also ask for the opinion of an expert uh, in obtaining knowledge and information. Let's say you are experiencing a severe stomach pain, stomach ache, so you consult a doctor and ask for his opinion as to why you are having a stomach ache. Upon checking you, he told you that uh, you might have eaten something that causes such pain. And so Experts can also be mistaken. They, they can give us an uh, opinion based on what they have studied or experienced yet there are still more to know so your doctor would do uh, would likely do a several tests on you to find the real cause of your pain so another way of obtaining information is by logical thinking or reasoning let's say for example statement one all mba students of st Vincent's college passed the recently conducted comprehensive examination then statement two juan de la cruz is a mba student of st Vincent's college Therefore, we could say that Juan de la Cruz passed the examination. The first and second statements are true, but the our conclusion could be wrong. So we, we say upon further verification, Juan de la Cruz did not took the exams. So we come up with another way of uh, obtaining information, which is the, the scientific method. Scientific method is very important to researchers. It provides us information that is as accurate and reliable as we can get compared to other ways of obtaining information. This method in involves testing of ideas in the public arena. What we want to know, when we want to know something, what we have in our minds are just uh, guesses. For example, for the COVID-19 vaccines, scientists want to know or develop a vaccine against COVID-19. So what, we, what they have at first are all uh, guesses or what they call hypothesis. Then they will do some test, experimentation, and investigation. Such, such investigation will not 
be considered as science unless they are made public. It must be described in detail so that study can be repeated by anyone who questions the results. Private procedures, speculations, and conclusions are not scientific unless they are made public. The scientific method of obtaining information is what we do in conducting research. So what is uh, research? According to Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary, a research is a studious inquiry or examination, especially investigation or experimentation, aimed at the discovery and interpretation of facts, revision of accepted theories or law in the light of the new facts, or practical application, application of such new or revised theories or law. According to Wilson in his book, uh, An Introduction to Research, a research is a process of inquiry and investigation. It is systematic and methodical. Research increases knowledge. So let us discuss this uh, one by one. First, uh, he said that research is a process of inquiry and investigation. This suggests that research is all about having a set of questions and then uh, answering these questions through a gathering of information and later on analyze such informations, information gathered. Second, it is systematic and methodical. This implies that research is well must be well organized and go through a series of stages. It go through a process. Finally, a research increases knowledge. Uh, it is uh, self-explanatory. So we do research to increase our knowledge and obtain information over uh, on a certain topic or subject matter. So research can be defined as a step-by-step -step process that involves the collecting, recording, analyzing, and interpreting of information. Now, what is a business research as what our subject is? According to Wilson, uh, 20, in 2014, in his book, An Introduction to Business Research, business research is a systematic and objective process of collecting, recording, analyzing, and interpreting information to aid in solving managerial problems. Business research is a systematic process of gathering and acquiring comprehensive and detailed data and information of all areas of businesses of business and using those information to maximize sales and profits of the business. This helps the management in making uh, decisions. When running a business, there are, there are many decisions to make from opening of a new branch, developing a new product, offering new services, hiring additional employees, and how to increase profit and minimize cost. Business research helps business owners in making a wise and the most appropriate and suitable decision. Let's say, for example, a certain bank wanted to launch a new deposit product that would support the BSP's uh, objective, which is to bank the unbanked. Hence, the bank uh, conducts business research and gather information as, so as to know what sectors are still unbanked and how much would be the minimum initial deposit that these sectors could afford and all other factors that to come up with a suitable uh, deposit product that would encourage those sector or people to deposit. Now let us uh, discuss what are the types of research. We could classify research into two types, which is the basic research and the applied research. First is the basic research. Basic research is also known as the pure or fundamental research. This research is mainly conducted to increase our knowledge. It is driven purely by interest and a desire to expand our knowledge. This type of research enhances our understanding of the world, ar of the world around us. An example of basic research is what we are doing regarding our assigned topics and also what uh, we do at school to increase our knowledge. The applied research. Applied research is mainly related with solving practical problems rather than focusing on knowledge expansion. It is mainly used to find solutions to problems which occur on our daily 
basis and develop new innovative uh, technologies. The main aim of the applied research is to provide uh, better technologies for humans to enhance their standard of living. An example of basic research is the research conducted in developing and discovering a vaccine for COVID-19. Next, let us discuss the uh, methods of research, which is the qualitative research method and the quantitative research method. First is the qualitative research method. Uh, qualitative research method uses open-ended questions to obtain data from the subject of the research. This method is not only about what people think, but also why they think so. Qualitative research methods are designed to help reveal the behavior and perception of a target population with reference to a particular topic or subject. Its goal is to get an in-depth uh, knowledge about the subject of the research. There are various types of qualitative research methods such as uh, interviews, focus groups, case study research, and ethnographic research. Interview. Interview is one of the most uh, common qualitative research methods. One of the advantages of this method is that it provides a great uh, opportunity to gather precise data about people. Researchers should ask uh, follow-up questions to collect more information. Next is focus groups. It usually includes a limited number of respondents. It is used to have an in-depth understanding of uh, social issues. This is also used in launching new product for a particular group of of people. An example of focus groups is a group of parents of preschoolers meet to discuss the child's needs. Case study research. It is one of the simplest ways of conducting research as it involves a deep dive or thorough understanding of the data or the subject or the problem. It is also one of the most uh, effective ways for business research. It is used to understand the customer satisfaction. Case studies are conducted in aid, to aid organization in improving their product or service. <music> Lastly is the ethnographic research. It is the most in-depth uh, observational method that studies people as a whole. This method requires the researchers to adapt to the target uh, audience's environments. And so instead of conducting uh, just a mere interview, the researchers put themselves into their subject's uh, shoes. Example is the owner or a boss works in his own company as a regular employee to better understand his people and the organization. The second method of research is the quantitative research method. It is carried out to deal with numbers. It is done gathering quantifiable data and performing statistical, mathematical, and computational techniques. Quantitative research collects uh, information using sampling methods or sending out uh, online surveys, online polls, questionnaires, and uh, etc. The results of which is in uh, numerical form. There are multiple types of uh, quantitative research, such as survey, correlational research, and experimental research. Uh, survey. Survey is the most common method under quantitative research. With the use of survey, a huge amount of data can be collected. Surveys used to ask questions to a sample of uh, response, respondents using various types such as online polls, online surveys, paper questionnaires, and among others. So nowadays, we often uh, see online polls or sur surveys in Facebook and other uh, social media. Then we have correlational research. It is a comparison of two entities. Uh, it is used to examine the impact uh, they create over each other. It is used to understand patterns, relationship, 
entrance between variables. Example is the increase in sale of one cell phone brand. What causes such increase? Maybe because of age of the buyers or maybe their economic status. These research studies, uh, the relationship of these variables are to each other. Lastly is the experimental research. It is based on uh, proving a theory. This research method is used in natural sciences. Some companies uh, uses experimental research to understand the behavioral traits of their customers. So after uh, knowing the types and the methods of research, let us now discuss uh, why business research is important. Uh, as we've said earlier, business research is used to help uh, managers and business owners uh, come up with a business decision. So here are some of the reasons why business research is important. First, it helps businesses gain better, better insights about their target customers' preferences, their buying patterns, and as well as the demographics. Business research also provides businesses with a detailed overview of their uh, target markets, so what is in trend and what is in demand in the market. Uh, business, with, the, uh, with the help of business research, businesses can effectively and efficiently formulate the best possible plans and strategies for their business. Uh, business research is also important to minimize unnecessary costs and focus on the areas that needs attention to increase their profits. Now let us have a brief overview of the research process. Uh, first is the statement of the research problem. The problem statement should be accompanied by a description and a background of the problem. It should also contain the rationale or justification for studying it. Next is the formulation of a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a prediction, a statement of what uh, specific results or outcome, outcomes are expected to occur. It is an intelligent guess. So problem statement and hypothesis should be defined as clearly as possible. Next is the review of related literature. We use other studies related to the stated problem. Uh, the literature review should shed light on what is uh, already known about the problem. It should uh, indicate logically why the proposed uh, study would result in an extension of this prior knowledge. Next is a uh, sample. We must identify the subject of our research, who are our uh, sample population. Next is the instrumentation. We should determine what research method are we going to use to collect data from our sample population. It should be described in detail and state the rationale for its use. Next is the procedures. The actual procedures of the study, which is from beginning to end, must be stated in order and in detail. Then the data analysis. After gathering all information needed, such data should be analyzed and evaluated. Data analysis, analysis should be clearly stated and described. Lastly, is uh, we have to communicate the results of our research. We state here our conclusion or the result of our uh, study. So that is the end of my report. Uh, thank you and good afternoon once again.